Kasper Kita, uh, Nowy One Think Tank uh, founder. Sir, welcome to our show and let us start with the discussion regarding the Polish media saga. Uh, Monday, uh, January 22nd, another turn in a month long story. The Register Court in Warsaw refused to recognize the government liquidation of Polskie Radio and Polska Telewizja. And uh, the minister who is responsible for that, the Minister of Culture, uh, reacted angrily and uh, said that he is not considering this decision as basically unlawful. What's your take on this? Well, I think that uh, this is very important for the government and for Minister Sienkiewicz to show effectiveness uh, before uh, for Sienkiewicz before Prime Minister Tusk, because this was his general um, task, Sienkiewicz's task, to uh, liquidate the um, previous, uh, the, uh, previous um, uh, public media. I think it's, uh, it's very important both for the government uh, and for Minister Sienkiewicz personally um, to um, move on with uh, uh, the revolution in the public media uh, because they want to show effectiveness in the eyes of the, mo of the most hardcore electorate who wanted to remove uh, the previous authorities from the uh, public media and to make the, uh, the public media more, uh, more aligned with the political uh, movement. Uh, that that's, uh, that that is currently in power, mm, and uh, they but they also I think want to uh, the, um, show uh, the, uh, the entire society that they are uh, capable of uh, implementing their decisions re regardless of uh, the intricacies of uh, of law of of uh, uh, of of uh, institutions that have been previously governed by the previous. Uh, government, and I think that they uh, they want to they do not want to be viewed as as, as uh, some kind of you know delicate liberal intellectuals. No, they want to be seen as a, a tough, effective, uh, sometimes even brutally effective uh, people who uh, also want. Uh, I think they also believe that that uh, this is something that uh, they want to take from of a previous governing party from peace that, uh, that they, they think that uh, peace uh, built its popularity to a degree on implementing its political decisions in a smooth and effective way. And, uh, and, and I think that they believe that uh, uh, the, the large part of the society wants them to, uh, to be as, uh, as brutal and effective in, in, in the form of government. Well, uh, some commentators compared this to the Blitzkrieg. And um, a few days ago, I heard that the Blitzkrieg failed in this regard. Do you think it failed? Well, I'm not sure it, it failed. You know, they actually take, uh, they, they actually took over the, uh, the media institutions they, they want, you know. They, you can say whatever you want in terms of the Euro, but de facto they control it. So I think that, yeah, uh, in the terms of, uh, in, in terms of actually taking over, they, uh, it did not fail. Uh, what's more interesting is, uh, well, in the long run, is whether uh, this will mean that in the long run, you know, there will be no higher authority than the current majority of the population. If 51% votes for something, then the government formed by the 51% can do anything. Uh, and regardless of the law and the, and the letter of the law, because we can always say that uh, this court is unfit and thus judge should not be there, therefore we are not recognizing the ruling. This is very interesting because, you know, uh, peace was the party that, that, that was uh, popularly, popularly both in Poland and in Europe uh, assigned with this sort of, you know, building illiberal democracy. But uh, obviously, peace, uh, peace did, to a degree, um, uh, represent the primacy of, uh, of political decisions over, uh, over institutions, over, uh, over uh, uh, bills, 
uh, law, etc. But uh, the new government took this uh, to a higher degree, and they 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 actually mm, uh, I think uh, are building a, an illiberal democracy in a sense uh, to a to a much larger degree because they are they are indeed more more smooth and more uh, more uh, effective. Uh, yeah. Well, there, well, one more question. Uh, everyone expected this government to be more benign, to be honest, because it's a coalition government, and many parties, many interests, yet it shows strength all also against the law in Poland. And it seems that uh, the smaller partners of the coalition are pleased with the behavior of uh, Platforma Obywatelska uh, guys or the civic platform. Are they or they are scared? Well, I think that they uh, they are they are more scared than satisfied in the sense that uh, they uh, they have to accept it because otherwise they would they wouldn't accept the legitimacy of their own government uh, and they cannot uh, they they cannot do it because they uh, this would be auto destructive uh, and for the time being I think that they preserve the popular support. Uh, and I think that uh, uh, they, uh, in the long run, Tusk will. Uh, the interesting question will be whether Tusk, uh, the prime minister, will want to preserve uh, the, the, the third way uh, on one hand and the left on the other hand, as his coalition uh, partners who have their own separate. Uh, to a degree, program uh, the separate, they are viewed as separate entities, or whether he will be he he want to take them over. I think that he will want to take them over, uh, as he is planning to do with the left, uh, with them negotiating, having a common list in the uh, re regional elections uh, in April. Uh, but at the same time, it was having coalition partners that gave him power in the first place, because he had to have a different programs different parties for different segments of the electorate uh, so this will be interesting how in the long run he will um, he will um, uh, equalize these uh, these uh, these two um, uh, contrary uh, notions also because um, uh, uh, because you know the, for the time being the glue of the coalition is uh, the, the enmity towards peace but uh, this will not uh, last forever. Right, Kasper Kita. Well, thank you very much. And the, the most urgent question is what the long run means in this case. But we will find out, wouldn't we? Thank you very much. Thank and you very much. See you soon. <laughs> Goodbye.